Today it is all about Mr. Biter, the camel spider. <laughs> For quite a while I was thinking about getting a camel spider and finally on this Terra Plaza I spotted these guys being on sale and I just had to get one. But now looking at it, it is kind of, I don't know, messed up or something because first I look at this leg and also this leg. His bottom part is bent inside while on this leg it is actually bent outside and it looks like this is normal while this isn't real normal I don't know also the same thing is on this hand I mean this leg it is also bent inside then other things if he will turn a bit yeah there we go also the end of these legs is bent inside while uh, its front legs this side is actually missing you see there is just a stump over there and in case you didn't know these what appears to be the longest legs these are actually pedipalps while this leg underneath this is actually a front pair of legs uh, it's not a pair because one is missing you see there is just a stump over there and if you look closely, I spotted this on one video that I recorded earlier. The part of his leg is right here inside of the enclosure. And I don't know if he bite it off or it somehow just fell off. I'm not really sure what happened. So that is a little bit unfortunate to say the least. But other than that, he seems to be active and he seems to be responding to, to all the outside stimulants like this poking and prodding. You see he is reacting. But... I dislike the look on those legs and also also he gave me quite the scare on the day I got him because I put him on the heated shelf you know the shelf where I keep all the scorpions that require more heat I have a special shelf for them and I put him over there and I came over to check him he was actually laying on his back and I was like oh no it seems that he's dying or dead but when I took his enclosure and shaked it a bit, he just popped back up and he was immediately active. I even managed to feed him immediately, but it was funny because when I tried to feed him, he first went for the sponge inside of his enclosure. You see this piece of sponge. First he attacked that, but then he figured out that there is a roach and he went for it. And I think that unlike tarantulas, they have better eyesight because, it's, because it seems like he visually spotted the roach. I could be wrong, of course, yeah. Then for the second time when I went to check on him, he was once again laying on his back. But after closer inspection, I noticed that he's actually, he was turned towards the heat bulb. I mean, the source of heat. So it seems like he's doing that intentionally to get more heat on him. That confirms the theory that they require more heat. At least more heat than you regularly have in normal room. So now we are going to set up a proper enclosure for him and for that I will be using the excavator clay you know this is the clay like mm, sand mixture that gets almost rock hard when you mix it with water and let it dry so we are going to build an enclosure out of that and then hopefully we will observe him uh, digging tunnels in that because scorpions they can easily dig tunnels in this mixture so I think that he won't have any problems doing the same thing. I will also incorporate these flat rocks in his background and also in his enclosure and some nice wood you see. Yeah. So I add water in the clay and then thoroughly mix it up until I get the wanted consistency. And this is a bit too wet. I think that I will add more clay to make it a bit more gooey. Yeah. Just a little bit though. This looks better now, you see it needs to be sticky and you should be able to easily make a ball out of it like this. Perfect. So first I will do the background. I will align the rocks the way I want them. Something like this I think. Now I just secure them with clay. I already used this technique in Thor's enclosure and rocks over there are still holding tight to the background. So I'm confident that it will be the same here. Even though when I was doing Thor's enclosure I wasn't fully certain in it. That's why we test things out. Okay, this is the background look that I was going for you see and now i need to mix more clay mixture and do the rest of the the rest of the enclosure but for that i will also add some sand just the regular sand to make it a bit looser so it will be a bit easier to dig in but the procedure is the same add the water mix it all up and profit of course <laughs> ready for the round two hopefully i made enough just gonna dump everything inside and we'll see where we at. Hmm, it seems that I need more, twice as much or maybe a bit less, I'm not sure.
this should now be enough. So first, should I add the rocks or wood piece or make the starter burrow? That's the question. I have no idea I'm doing this for the first time. So wood will go here. This rock will go here. I'm gonna dig under it. And the other rock will also go, will go on this side. Now with the layout done, I need to compress everything really well. Hopefully Mr. Biter will continue it that way and we will be able to observe his, his burrow, that's the idea. So as usual, I'm just going to pluck my finger here, like this, and hope that that will be enough. Yeah, something like that. It should be perfect, right? With the enclosure being done, we need to wait for it to be fully dry. So let's do one time jump. It took a bit longer for the enclosure to fully dry. Despite it being under the warm lamp, it was still drying super slow, but now it is all dry and you see there's the hide fully functional together with rest of the enclosure and look at this this time i used substrate as a texture for the texture because the substrate the actual substrate is something like sand so having sand for the texture didn't really make any sense so i chose to use uh, an actual substrate and thankfully the camel spider is still alive but it is it is really sluggish you see still reacts but I don't know it just sits there and does nothing which is not surprising because of the small plastic enclosure but I'm hoping that inside of this enclosure it will actually have a lot of things to do and it will become more active or something like that but I really don't like his current behavior also getting him inside of this enclosure should be kinda <laughs> okay, okay 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 come on come on this crazy bastard is biting the tweezers I'm calling him Mr. Biter for that very reason. And look how mad he is now. Look at his back pulsing or, or something, I don't know. Now, I would like to put him on his spot and then record a time lapse so we can see what he will do inside of his new enclosure and if he will actually become a bit more active inside. And to see if he will actually continue to dig his hide, so yeah. <laughs> right he was quite active super active i'm surprised by that and he did dig but i was hoping that he will dig a bit more but as long as he did dig i'm satisfied let me show you where i keep him now i actually moved the warm shelf it used to be over there but then i moved it over here and i also added another one and now you see this is his place and look at him right there i don't know why but for some reason every time i check on him he looks like this half dead but he is alive he should be alive let's check oh you see you see he turned immediately but the reason why he is right there because that is probably the warmer spot right under the lamp although i was hoping that over there that will be the warmest spot where the rock is but whatever let me take him on the table and we will continue once again i will try to feed him in my care he only ate once and that is the one time that i showed you in this video earlier because in a video where i showed him for the first time i got quite a lot of comments and interesting comments on how to care for them and i'm not 100 percent sure which which is the proper way but couple of interesting things arise apparently in captivity they are being fed too much and that is one of the reasons why they have problems and other reason is during the night they should also be kept colder uh, naturally in the dark then during the day i have the ac running that is heating the area 
and the temperature is around 23 degrees Celsius but naturally during the night the heating is turned off both the AC and the heat spot for his enclosure so it naturally drops I am not really sure if the drop is significant enough for them or not but I don't really, I cannot really do something about it. I could move him to the other room over there where it's colder, but I would do that only if I knew that they actually need that for certain. And in regards to feeding, I don't know, I will try that and we will see how, how long he will live. But as I said, in that time lapse he was really really active and I was super surprised by that because he never moves around and even now in this enclosure you see, I mean, he is reacting and turning. He doesn't appear to be that active as he was in that time lapse. I will go now and grab the roach before he actually hides. Hopefully he won't hide. So just a second. One lateralis roach will should be... No, no. Ah, he's going inside. Now what to do? I was talking too much. Damn. Although it seems that he's going out. Nice! Let's drop this road before the situation changes. I don't want to drop it directly, I sh Seriously, go out, okay. <laughs> well, that was underwhelming. I should wound the road first because he's too fast now. Ooh! I was hoping for some action, even though the, the road is going inside. Oh, I'm gonna turn the enclosure. So we can see inside of the burrow. Also what I wanted to do while he was outside, I wanted to clean uh, this glass so we can have a clear view inside. But now with him inside of the den, inside of the burrow, I cannot really do that. Ah, why it always needs to be complicated. I guess that using tweezers is now the only option in order to attempt to feed Mr. Biters. You disappoint me, you know? Let's see if that will work out. Uh -huh. Come on, man, you need to defend. Ooh, look how he's spreading his jaws. He doesn't want to grab the roach. <laughs> oh, and there we go. I basically had to push the roach in his jaws, but he grabbed it now. And he's just slicing at it. Look at it. Now, if only he would come out, that would be even better. I will try out with macro lens. And of course, now he's coming outside. At least we have a better view at the munching. Whoa! Look, look how he's working with his jaws. The roach is already a giant mess. Incredible. He just destroyed everything. Those are some powerful jaws. Oh, he can't, he's coming out. Why did you leave the roach inside? What is he doing? I have no idea. Going back inside or not? No, he's just walking around. Oh, sorry. Sorry, focus on this macro lens is terrible. He is back inside. Okay, what is he doing with the roach now? <laughs> Nothing. He's going to continue <laughs> moving around. Quickly going back on normal lens. Oh! <laughs> Did he poop? <laughs> there you go, this is a camel spider poop. If you ever wondered, hey, 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 no, no. No, we can... No funny ideas, please. First he poops, then he tries to escape. What is that weird tactic? <laughs> I should take that roach outside, I guess. At least... Put here. And use this chance to maybe clean the glass. If only he would stop moving, that would be useful, you know. Come on, stop moving. <laughs> I'll use this and just gentle scrubs. There we go, that's the idea. And he actually calmed a bit, you see. I'm not really certain, I think that I will just leave the roach inside and at the end of the day, if it will still be uneaten, I will remove it. Maybe he goes back to it and take it. I would actually just push it where I found it, like here at the entrance, and we'll deal with it later. I'm gonna leave him be now, but before I end this video, I still have one more thing to show you, something that I promised in last video. And it is right here, if you remember, 
this is the enclosure where I have green bottle blue inside. I just want to show you how much it webbed since I showed it in the last video. You see? It webbed all of this. Not huge amount, but quite considerable, right? <laughs> and of course it is not done, it will web more with time. So yeah, I just wanted to show you how cool that is. And one final information before we end this. The new calendars are being printed as we speak. Also, I will have a full restock of all the shirts in like, I don't know, two weeks maybe. And also I have a new shirt design in the works. So that will also, it should also come in like two weeks on the web shop together with new stickers. So stay tuned for that. I will let you know in the video, of course, when that is up and also on the Instagram. But now, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel even more, there's a Patreon page. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe up or on Monday. So see you again in a week. Bye.